What is going on, you stallions and stallionettes? AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven. We have some more substantial leaks when it comes to the PlayStation 5 Slim and potentially the PS5 Pro. But don't get too excited yet, ladies. Keep those panties unbunched until 2023. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, sharing my screen here, I have a couple of articles pulled out. Now I always cite my sources, these will be linked in the description below if you want to read these articles in their entirety. I have made some pretty little highlights on these bad boys. We're pretty much going to focus on this article here. It's a little bit more informative and I like the journalism a little bit better. It explains the situation a little bit better, but all in all, both of these articles covered the exact same factoid. So over here, there has been 4.5 million PS5 consoles, both digital and optical, sold thus far. Now. That sounds like a big number, but it really isn't. If you look at the PS4, it had virtually the same sales numbers at this time frame after its launch. So that's not anything crazy. And the majority of those consoles were in the hands of actual consumers, not in the hands, the greasy palms or mitts of scalpers using bots and scripts. Now, 4.5 million, if we just look at the numbers for one hot tick of a second here, 3,500 units were in the hands of scalpers in the UK, Crep Chief Notify. That is just one scalper organization. There are other several... There are several other organizations out there that have well over a thousand units. You put all these little organizations together, not to mention individual shrimp dick scalpers that are selling these things on Facebook uh, Marketplace and eBay. While this is good for Sony because they really care about the sales number, they, they don't because they really care about the sales numbers. They don't really care so much about uh, where these consoles have actually landed. <laughs> You know, it's not a big deal, but just keep in mind for you, the average consumer, the gamer out there, uh, probably about 1 million of these consoles have not, they, they've been stripped from the hands of Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, GameStop, um, Newegg, and put into the hands of illicit companies uh, or resale organizations like Crep Chief Notify. So, I got a thin dick! Honestly, so due, due to that analysis, the PS4 has sold better than the PS5. Moving on, PS5 has a long way to go before it reaches the sales volume of previous consoles. Basically what I just explained to you guys. PS5 has amassed about half the lifetime sales of the Sega Dreamcast and Saturn. I don't know why they specifically chose those two consoles to compare to. They're, they could have grabbed the N64, the PlayStation 2, Xbox Original, one of the Atari systems, you know, the Vectrex, the Super NES, but they decided to target these two consoles here, I guess because they were very well selling, which they were. Uh, and the PS5 has already sold um, half of the lifetime sales, which is quite impressive. That's a huge bitch! Now this topic is trending all over the place. These are just two articles here. Two of the ones that I found were the most informative and didn't have a lot of journalistic fluff or BS and kind of just gave you the facts of what we know thus far. But this is trending all over Twitter. Um, people in the Twitch community are talking about it, YouTube, etc. And the leak itself came out about three days ago. And basically what's going on is Red Gaming Tech made a video basically uncovered or revealed that PlayStation has documentation and patents showing that in 2023, they already have uh, documents that they're moving to a five nanometer, I believe that is, or Newton meter node. Now, typically a node switch implies that a new console is in development, like we saw from the move from the 28 uh, to the 16 with the PS4 Slim and Pro. Now, those two were released together, and I don't really, I don't know, but I don't believe that the PS5 Slim and Pro are going to be released together. That's kind of substantiated by the fact that uh, Sony would need to increase the console's GPU die size if they were to do that. So this kind of looks like a PS5 Slim, to be honest. Ultimately, a PS5 Slim would probably consume less power than a PS5 original. It definitely would along with having a smaller footprint. Obviously, that's what a Slim is. Now, keep in mind, the reason the PS5 is so big is because of the plastic case itself, the flaps on the side, and then also the fact that they went with one large fan versus two smaller fans, which would not only be quieter and cool better, but they said it would increase their production costs. So obviously they want to maximize their profits, but there already are, um, there already is a third party manufacturer out there. I covered this video as soon as the news came out. We watched this video together. There is a uh, Vietnamese, there is a Vietnamese PC and console modder that has made a custom uh, aluminum build water block, uh, water cooled PS5 that is quieter, substantially smaller, and obviously cools better than the PS4, we, or PS5 we have currently. So 
obviously a PS5 Slim would be all of those things. It would probably cool better, it would be quieter, and it would be slimmer. So why are we looking at 2023 for the release of the Slim? Now, it would make the most sense because that has kind of gone in... Uh, historical line with previous PlayStation midlife refreshes. Now, if you look at the PlayStation 3 and 4, they did do a three-year uh, refresh where then the PS3 Slim came out, PS4 Slim, and PS4 Pro. Uh, and also with the... And there was a four-year gap between the original PlayStation 2 and then the PS2 Slim line, which, by the way, that console was like, like 70% smaller than the original. Uh, and then... If we look at the PlayStation original, it was just called PlayStation. It wasn't called PS1 or anything. It was just called PlayStation. And then uh, six years after that release, they came out with the PS1, which was a much, much smaller, quieter version of the PlayStation 1. So there's a little, a little look into the history of PlayStation and their midlife refreshes. And we can kind of look at history to repeat itself when it comes to midlife refreshes, as well as just console design in general. So that's where a lot of journalists and content creators are digging up this 2023 from. However, it's also being speculated it could be as late as 2024. I personally do think it's going to be in 2023 just based on history and also how Sony has kind of been handling the ninth generation consoles so far. When I say ninth generation, I'm not referring just to the PlayStation. Obviously, it's the fifth generation of home PlayStation consoles. However, uh, if you're looking at consoles as an as as a whole, you know, from like all the way from the Nintendo Entertainment System, then like the Sega Dreamcast and PlayStation One, then to the N64 and Sega Dreamcast. Technically, we are on the ninth generation of consoles. If you want to be like completely correct about that. Uh, thank you, sir. But I fear inebriation may cause me to forget my manners and such. Fine company. So in this article here, there also is a little video here. This is, of course, not official footage. This is just some uh, some 3D fan uh, media that they've created of what they would predict or like to see from a PlayStation 5 Slim console. Now, the Pro, we do already have some information on the Pro. I covered that probably about a month and a half ago. It is going to have dual GPUs. Uh, more storage, and obviously a beefier cooling suite. But again, we haven't gotten any further information on that. That's why I'm focusing primarily on the Slim in this video. So both of these articles are linked in the description below, but here's my opinion. I think it's a little bit wild that Sony is already planning or developing their next version of the PS5 when they can't satisfy enough stock to fill inventory for their third-party vendors like Amazon, Best Buy, Target, etc. There's already a major inventory problem with the original PlayStation 5. And this low supply and high demand is leading to an opportunity for asshole scalp scalpers with their bots and scripts to swoop in. Ah, 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 and pluck the man's eyeballs out of his sockets. Ah, ah. In masses. And... I, I would think, in my brain, that Sony would be focusing primarily on clearing up that inventory issue with their original console. Now, I do get that they're planning ahead, so obviously they're looking to 2023 to make a slim console, and I do understand that, but I just feel like they would be allocating more time, energy, and resources into actually getting these consoles, the regular PS5, whether it's disc or discless version, into people's homes, getting their white box into people's homes. Am I crazy? Am I am I popping crazy pills here? Or does that not make sense to you guys? Drop in the comment section below your opinion on the PS5 Slim. When do you think it's going to be dropped? Do you think there is going to be a PS5 Slim and Pro period? Liking the video does more than you guys could actually understand. It truly does help to grow my little channel, which I appreciate more than I can verbalize for you guys. <laughs> Subscribe for more content like this. I cover a lot of news in the gaming community and industry, as well as a lot of tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.